Well, William Luchtenberg, thanks for coming in to talk to us for Book Watch about your new book, The American President, from Teddy Roosevelt to Bill Clinton. We'll be seeing that book in time for Christmas. <laughs> but um, I ask you, after we after we talked a little bit about uh, what your current projects are, I thinking that you would say, listen, I'm through, but you didn't. What are your projects? Well, I'm working on three books now, uh, DG. Uh, oh, one is uh, a history of the presidency from the Constitutional Convention in 1787 to 1900. Where the so you're going to have volume one of this. That, that's uh, right, this, in reverse uh, order. That's right. And uh, I have uh, earlier wrote a book called The Supreme Court Reborn about the, it was a collection of essays on the greatest constitutional crisis in uh, modern American history in the 1930s around Roosevelt's court packing plan. And I'd like to go back and uh, write a narrative account of, of what happened with that plan. That would be one, all your own book uh, or, yes. or in, in one consolidated, not a series of essays. It, but I, it'd be, right, it'd be, a, it'd be a narrative, right. And then uh, the third book uh, comes out of an experience I uh, had uh, in uh, 2001. I was on an American delegation along with uh, Jimmy Carter's chief of staff, an Indiana congressman and others, uh, to Moscow. Uh, we were told that uh, the Russian government, uh, a few years after the hammer and sickle had been uh, torn down for the last time, uh, uh, were, were wary of going back to the Stalin area, but uh, they also didn't want to go cold turkey into a free market economy. And the New Deal looked good to them as a uh, halfway house. This is Franklin Roosevelt's Franklin program Roosevelt's to fight the Depression. Social Security, SEC. TVA. Uh, and uh, when I got in Moscow in, uh, uh, in a blizzard, uh, I walked into the hotel lobby and the organizer of the uh, conference had a very long face and he said, the keynote speaker in the morning has canceled. You are going to have to give the <laughs> keynote address. And I had no books with me. I had no notes. Uh, and so what I decided to do when I got up the next morning, and there were members of the Duma of the Russian parliament there, uh, Russian officials, scholars, uh, was to take the Russians on a trip. And I said, if they were at LaGuardia Airport and crossed into New York City on the Triborough Bridge and went down the FDR Drive and left Manhattan through the Lincoln Tunnel, all of these were built by Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. And then I took them west and south across the country on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, on the Blue Ridge Parkway, on the Skyline Drive, the Cleveland Airport, the Chicago Subway, the Great Shelter Belt in the, in the Great Plains, over to the dams of Grand Coulee and Bonneville in the Northwest, to the Golden Gate Bridge and the Bay Bridge in California, all of these created by the New Deal. Well, so, so the idea is um, for the former Soviets, a system of public works is would be a way to bridge the gap from communism into uh, something more closer to a, a market economy. Uh, uh, public works, but public works uh, 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 conceived locally by, and with uh, uh, with a strong input of uh, of people in 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 the area. Uh, one of the examples would, would be the murals on post offices that are still there all over America, uh, painted by local artists uh, to reflect. One of the examples is the, uh, uh, is the post office in downtown Chapel Hill, uh, which has a, 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 a mural of the local area. Well, this is interesting because it, in addition to counseling the uh, Russian people, the Soviet former Soviet people, you also remind us that uh, out of all terrible things, sometimes really dramatically good things happen, and we look back and we say, we couldn't have done without all of these wonderful things that happened as a result of the Great Depression. And it also suggests that, uh, contrary to what we often hear nowadays, that the federal government isn't uh, always hopeless, uh, that it can uh, create uh, institutions, buildings, uh, of, uh, of enduring value. Well, I thank you for, thanks for coming in to visit with us again. And we're looking forward to the Book Watch program on the new, brand new book, The American President, From Teddy Roosevelt to Bill Clinton.
Thank you, DJ. Thank you.